hello everyone let's provide the complete solution to this problem i mean okay let's provide the real solution only the real solution right so we have 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 20. now how do you solve this as a matter of fact by looking at this a couple of you must have known the real value of x but then how do you solve it that's what we are trying to find out now this 4x is the same as 4 to the power of x is the same as 2 to the power of 2 then to the power of x like this right then plus 2 to the power of x which is equal to 20 now, what again can I do? I can always change what I have here. So I have 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. Because I am to multiply. And then I have 2 to the power of x, which is equal to 20. What again should I do? What is my... Okay, I have 2 to the power of x in two places. And I can do something about this, right? So I will say let y be equal to 2 to the power of x so this means that here will be y squared plus here we have y and that is equal to 20. from here now we have y squared plus y minus 20 equals 0. and what should i do again this is now quadratic equation, right? And you can decide the method to use. Okay, you can decide to factorize if it is factorizable or you use the formula method. Now let's think whether it is factorizable or not. Now, what two numbers we multiply to get minus 20 and we will add them to get um, one. The numbers will be five and minus four, yes. So we're going to use 5 and minus 4. So that one of the factors will now be um, y plus 5 is a factor. Remember, we are providing only the real solution. And then y minus 4 is the other factor. And we equate everything to 0. Now, y plus 5 is equal to 0 or y minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, if this is the case, then y is equal to minus 5, or on this side, y is equal to 4. But do not forget when we say that y, we say it, let y be equal to 2 to the power of x. So that means in place of this, I'll write 2 to the power of x to be equal to minus 5. And there is no value of x, no real value of x will give us this. Um, so this has to be rejected, right? This has to be rejected. And I go straight to the second value of y, which is y equals 4. And then 2 to the power of x will be equal to 4 now, right? And then we have 2 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of 2. Because 4 is 2 to the power of 2. And we can compare what we have here. We have the same base. Therefore, the powers, the powers must be equal. So our x is 2. So it is x equals 2. That is the real solution. And let's confirm this. We got 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 20. If I put 2 here, I have um, 4 to the power of 2 plus 2 to the power of 2. And this means we have 16 plus 4. 16 plus 4, right? And 16 plus 4 is 20. So this means that x equals 2 is very satisfying.